we have a ball of mass 0.2 kilograms, which is suspended from a fixed point with a massless string of length 25 centimeters. You will investigate the motion in which the string traces a conical surface with a half angle 24 degrees. We want to know what is the tangential speed b for the bob to move in a horizontal circle trace. That means that the ball is not going to change the altitude, it's not going to change the position in the y direction, but it's going to do a circle in the plane as shown in the figure. So I'm going to draw the Cartesian plane in blue and I placed the ball in the center of the, of the Cartesian plane. You can see that I drew the, the, the tension, the force of tension, in the same direction of the string in blue. And the mg, that's the force of gravity, because this ball has mass, is going downwards, is in black. We know that the tension is at an angle. Uh, theta is the angle, 24 degrees, and it's shown in the picture. And the tension can be decomposed. It can be split into components. So we have a tx and a ty, the component of the tension x and the component of the tension y, as shown in the figure. We know that ty is equal to the magnitude of the tension, that's t, multiplied by the cosine of theta. And tx is equal to the magnitude of the tension multiplied by sine of theta. We can see this from the, from the picture. Because this picture that you see here and this diagram is in, in 3D. Actually, Tx is in the x direction, but I'm going to place it in 2D. And you see that Ty, that's T cosine of 24, because 24 is theta, is going up in the y direction. Tx, that's T sine of 24 is going to the right and Mg is going downwards. What happened? That Mg has to be equal to Ty. The reason is that the y position is not going to change. I mean, the ball is not going to change the altitude. Never. The ball is only going to change the direction. And if we need to change the direction, we need an unbalanced force as a centripetal force. That's going to be the Tx. Tx will change the direction of the ball. But the y, the force, uh, the summation of the force in the y, needs to be zero. The net force in the y direction is going to be zero. Meanwhile, the net force in the x direction that's pointing to the center of the circle, the center of the trace, is going to be a tx. That's the unbalanced force that causes the change in direction. So if I do the summation of the forces in the x, it's equal to mass times b squared over r. So you see I have tx in red. It's equal to 0.2, that's the mass of the ball times the velocity, the tangential velocity square over the radius. I'm going to change Tx by the T, that's the magnitude of the tension, times sine of 24, that's equal to 0.2 times B square over R. I place this equation in a green uh, square because we need to go back and forth to this same equation, so that's important to keep this equation in mind. I need to know the length of the radius, that's important, the physical length of the radius. So you see from the picture in 3D that I have to the left that there is a distance that is not going to change because that's a perfect circle. So the distance from the ball to the center is always going to be the radius. It's a right triangle. You see that there is a right angle of 90 degrees in the picture and theta is the angle that's up the length of the string that's going to be fixed because the string is not going to grow or to get shorter. So that's a, f a fixed length. That means that I can say that the sine of theta is equal to the radius over the hypotenuse, that's the length. I do some algebra, I multiply the, by the length, and I, we have that length multiplied by the sine of theta is equal to the radius. And we know that the length is 0.25 meters, we have to change this to meters, remember? And we know that theta is 24 degrees. We do some, we use the calculator. Remember to use true calculator in the degree mode, because in this case, we're using degrees, not radian. So we plug in this in the calculator and we get that the radius is 0 0.10168 meters. We go back to the equation that I placed before in the green box. I'm going to place the radius that we just found. And now, 
I am going to do the summation of the forces in the y direction because the ball is not going to change the altitude. So the net force in the y direction needs to be zero. So we have ty going up minus mg that's going down is equal to zero. And we get that ty is equal to mg. We have that the magnitude of t, the tension, the magnitude of the tension multiplied by the cosine of 24 is equal to 0.2 over times 9.8, that's mg. If we do some arithmetic, we get that, that the tension is equal to 2.145 newtons. That's the magnitude of the tension along the string. Now we go back to the equation in the green box and we're going to plug in the information we just got. So the magnitude of the tension is equal to 2.145. You see that I plug in that information in the equation and then I just have to solve. So you see that I went back and forth to the same equation and I found the information that we need uh, to solve the equation just in terms of the, of the tangential speed. Speed squared is equal to 0.4437 and when we take the square root, the number for tangential speed is 0.666 meter per second. Okay guys, I hope that this explanation was useful. Uh, let me know any comments, questions, or if you just want to say hi, uh, say hi. Bye guys, I'll see you next time.